My name is James Duncan Spence, Jr. I was born in 1959 and raised in the Valley of Anmore. My name is Kevin Mason Spence, and I was born in 61 and lived in Anmore all my life. The first 20-acre parcel of property our grandfather bought was situated roughly on Sunnyside Road, one block north of East Road. Right next to the uh, current city hall. Was it 1914 on that list? Yeah. At a land auction in New Westminster. So he paid, I think... I think it was five bucks an acre. And our grandmother, who was a widow far longer than she was married, and she had a little... Nowadays it would be an artisan shop. She uh, made pottery, she wove, she painted, she did lapidary, copper, and we can always remember her gravel driveway. If she didn't like a piece of pottery she made, <laughs> out the door it went with a hammer and her driveway was just littered with thousands of glazed pieces of pot. Yeah. That's our father, James Duncan Spence. He's in his parents' yard on Sunnyside Road, uh, facing east. You can see the hand-built rock wall our grandfather built. The property must have just been settled and they were still clearing it. Across the road you can see the Leisure House, the Leisure Horse Barn, and I think you can see the Thomas House in the left. And you're facing Eagle Mountain. That's right on the corner of uh, East Hemlock and Sunnyside. Sunnyside was, is right in front of that wall. Dad must be about four or, five. four or five years old. Granddad's 36 Dodge is in the other picture that he bought brand new. On the running board is his cousin, Margaret Forsyth, whose parents owned a parcel of land up on East Road. Our father was born up here in 1931 and lived here for oh, yeah. 59 years. Dad was taking care of Grandma. So he kind of took over the, the farm, so to speak. And I think it was the 70s, Dad bought the 20 acres beside it. Yeah, and Hemlock Road goes through the middle of the 40 acres. He had a, a, a shingle mill and a little sawmill on the property. He did logging at Bunsen Lake and he, he cedar salvaged dead and down timber at the lake and brought it home to the mills. The original family house, my dad moved up to Anmore in 61 or 62. 61 or 2, came from Essendale. <clears throat> it was a nurse's quarters. It's dad still... purchased the house originally because it had a brand new oil fired furnace in it and he got the whole unit for $100. But he had to take the roof off and move the house. So basically he moved four walls and a furnace. It's been a good house. I spent a lot of time fishing in the creeks up here as a kid, and I used to enjoy that. I always get in trouble when I got home because I'd be wet up to my belly button, but... Yeah. But or hiking down the Bunsen Lake and just canoeing around there. Hiking up the mountain, camping, just being a kid. Being grounded wasn't bad either as a kid because yeah, we had 40 acres, so it wasn't... You, you can't leave bikes. the yard. <laughs> okay. We had machinery to drive, chainsaws yeah, We all to learned with. young. How to run equipment. Tra tractors, skidders, backhoes. Dozers. We had a good life. Dad sold the whole works in 1989. That was tough. You know, it was... It, it was rough when Dad sold the property. It was. Because it had been in the family so long, and it was like all of a sudden... And, and we'd I, go back on it and work, and you'd have somebody gushing and emoting, oh, this is beautiful up here, blah, blah. You know, you're standing right where you walked with your grandma and you were pouring plaster of Paris into bear paw yeah. prints and, and, and deer yeah. prints. And all you wanted to do is grab them by the collar and the pants and escort them off the property, you know, but we had to deal with it. It was tough for a while, but no regrets.